Aloha and thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. Together with my partner Derek Kurisu, we bring to you the best of our Big Island seniors at work and at play. We also would like to recognize and thank the good people at KTA Superstores for bringing this program to you as a community service. This month, we have a number of exciting stories to share with you. And once again, thank you for watching us and please enjoy the show. Hey, welcome to George Ishida's Kitchen, but this is at KTA Deli. I tell you what, man, today we're going to do some really amazing thing. And I'm going to get one really amazing guy, Enos. He's going to do a Filipino food later on. But I want to begin the program by showing you, and I think George Ishida showed you how to do this before, but I'm going to show you again because it's really, really easy. We are going to do an omelet in the bag, okay? First of all, you got two eggs. Crack them up like that. Two eggs. Okay? Okay, and then you get the egg, you beat it up, right? Because omelet is kind of like scrambled. Okay? Just like that. See? See the egg like that? Yeah? And you can put them inside one bag. A Ziploc bag. Pour them in like that, okay? Inside there, I chop in some round onions. You see the round onions here? Yeah. I chop them fine. Yeah, about one tablespoon. Dump them inside here, okay? I put in two slices of ham. And then, by the way, this ham on sale. This is like Farmer Johnny. This one here, go hard, oh, man. This thing here is gonna be so good. Two pound chunk, you can find them in the meat department on sale at KTA. Okay? I'm chopping about two ham. Because I gotta load them up, okay? See? Load up the ham in here. And you put in about half cup of cheese. Yeah, shredded cheese. Put in half cup. Okay? Just like this, right? Ah. See the real tight, you shake them all up, okay? See the cheese and everything, you make them all merry just like this, okay? Ah, put them all like this, okay? Shake them all down like that, and make sure you squeeze out all of the air, okay? As much as you can, squeeze out the air from the bag. Okay, I'm squeezing out all the air from the bag. Man, I got the water boiling over here, okay? So you boil the, the omelet just like this, with the egg and everything. You leave it here for about 10 to 13 minutes. But while that thing is going, I'm gonna show you another really quick dish. Okay? I'm gonna show you how to make smoked pork with onions. So, so simple. You get the frying pan, okay? Put some oil inside, make sure it's hot. And you have some chopped brown onions on the side, see? Chopped brown onions, just like this, right? And I chop on some smoked pork. You can use Frankfurt's, you can use mountain pig, you can use any kind, okay? I chop on one pack of smoked pork, just like this, okay? There you go. Get the smoked pork all sliced up, okay? Fry them up like this, yeah? You know, the smoked pork is so ono. Put the fire up higher, okay? You know, the smoke pork has all the flavor, has everything in it. So you fry them up until you get crispy. So simple, any man can cook this. Any man should be able to cook this. Because it's so fast, easy, and simple. Okay? Okay, while I'm cooking this, frying this up like that, I'm kind of like watching the, the omelet. Just about 10 minutes, I'm gonna tell you when it's cooked. I'm gonna take them out. And the reason why I like to do it this way is because you don't use all these different pots and pans. Because me, I hate to clean up. Okay? So, so I'm going to crisp this up a little bit. Okay? And add in the onions later, okay? Crisp them up. Wow! We're here at KTA Pharmacy at Pharmacy Megan again. So Pharmacy Megan, it's October. So what does it tell me? It's flu season. Oh, flu season! So what do I do? Well, you should come and get your flu shot. You know, at KTA Pharmacies, we give all kinds of flu shots, hepatitis A, you know, a shingles, right? So that's why I'm so lucky that I'm over here. I can shop, I can work, 
and I can get all my shots there. I don't have to go to the doctor's <laughs> office. How was your flu shot? Very good. Yeah. 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 So you took your pneumonia? Pneumonia, and I took my shingles. Shot. Oh, very good. Hold it, Kiki. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, that one was sore. <laughs> So what are you going to do now? Now I'm going to finish my shopping. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, what place? Yeah, okay, well, I was waiting for her. I was picking up my things that I wanted. Oh, very good. I need orange juice. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, Pharmacy Megan, you know, if I take a flu shot, how do I prepare myself to come when I come to KK? Well, you can just come to the pharmacy anytime the pharmacy is open. And we are open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. And on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 5. Okay. Um, just bring down your insurance card. Okay. Take all major insurances. Okay. And it is covered 100% okay. by most insurances. Okay. Um, we're going to ask you to fill out one of these forms. Okay. So a consent form. We'll okay. also give you some information, just a sheet on what the flu vaccine is about. Okay. And that's it. The process takes. So yeah, in a nutshell, on here, like if I if I'm sick, I shouldn't, right? If you have a fever, you shouldn't take. You should wait till you're better, just so that your body can get a good immune response to the. And what about you? What if I'm allergic to anything? Um, if you have an egg allergy, we we will counsel you depending on how severe okay. the egg allergy okay. is. But we but do actually you know, right? yes, let us know because we actually have a vaccine here that is um, okay to take if you have an egg allergy. And so. you know, you know, for me, like I, I got some big guns here, and, and I think about oh, once I wore a real tight shirt, and you know, and it was hard. I couldn't even roll up my yeah, sleeve, yeah. so I would say just wear some yes. of my look. Yeah. Right? That would help. That would okay. help. Okay, see, only guys with guns on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know what? Make it. I want to take a shot. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So I'm going to take my immunization shot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Pharmacy Megan, I filled out all the forms. Yes. Ready for my shot. Okay. Okay. Simple as that. Yes. Okay, again, guns. Yes. Yeah. Good thing you wore a loose yeah, shirt. Yeah, I know. So you can take it either on your left hand or your right hand. Yes. Right. Yeah, doesn't matter. Exactly. So tomorrow I'm playing golf, so I'm going to take on my right hand. I'm supposed to use more of my left hand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. No. No. Okay. So now is the needle shot, huh? So, wow! I don't even feel it. Am I, it's done already. It's done. So wow! You know, I didn't. Oh, a new band aid. Wow! Oh, look at that. Huh? <laughs> And I didn't feel anything. Oh, man. good. Oh, that was really, really good. Good. Get a flu shot. Come to KTA. We give all the flu shots, hepatitis A shots, single shots, whatever shots, yes. right? Yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. You can either throw up the oil, throw up the stuff, fry the onions separately if you don't want it soggy, but you know what? I don't know about time, so I'm just gonna dump the onions together just like this. Put them all in here. You see how simple? I never use no ingredients except just the onions and the smoked pork. So this is what something that any man know how to cook or can cook, okay? Look at that. Real simple, eh? Yeah? Okay, just go crisp them up a little bit, yeah? And you know, you eat this on rice or something like that, oh, it's like broke the mouth, broke the mouth, okay? And again, you know they worry because the smoked pork is already pretty cooked. But I want it to make them crispy, to add a little texture. I kind of brown the onion. You can see the onion is getting brown over here. Real, real simple. Oh okay. yeah, grab this. I put it inside this nice KTA container. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So I put some uh, hand towel underneath. Whoo, look at that. Okay, I'm going to wait for my friend Enos to come. He's going to grind them, okay? In the meantime, in the meantime, remember my, my um, omelet? Oh, I think I'll be a bit done already. Let me see. Oh, no, okay, a little bit more. Okay, we got to wait on the omelet, okay? And we'll be right back. Aloha. We're here today at the Life Care Center of Helos. 18th annual Early Signs Health Fair. And you know this, this organization has been uh, doing this health fair for 18 years free to the community. 
to improve the community's health. One of the key persons in this organization is Chris Ridley, our very good friend. Chris will tell us a little more about what's happening. I know every year from seven to 900 people turn, hey, no more parking, no more space. Really, it's a, a real popular activity good for the community. Chris, can you again explain to us what's happening here? Well, actually, I was very blessed a long time ago. Fred Horowitz let me go to a health fair in Oahu and let me see some really nice health fairs over there. So we copied exactly what we saw over there. So one of the things we managed to get was 10 physicians doing presentations on 10 different topics. Uh, that's part on that display up there. Uh, we have nine activity uh, demonstrations to encourage the public to be physically active and to know the different exercises that you can do. So I always encourage people to sit and look at those activities as well. There's so much going on. We also have 70 information booths, a lot of free screenings. Provision van will be here. There's so many different free screenings. Dr. Sugai does foot checks. Dr. Klein is here from Klein Chir uh, Practice. We have a lot of chiropractors here, Dan Dr. Daniel Young. We have uh, Dr. Gita from Keao. We have Back to Basics here. So there's a lot of different free services. Clinical Labs is doing clinical uh, cholesterol checks. Chris, this is all for free? All for free. The, the nursing students from the community college and from the university come and do blood pressures, blood sugars. Everything is for free. We encourage people to get dropped off here and stay the whole five hours and you still won't see everything. Chris, I wanted to ask you, I know you're the key person behind this, but uh, there must be a lot of key people really helping out with such a large project. Can you kind of elaborate? Sure. Dr. Kurahara has been our key chairperson for years. He stays here the whole five hours and supports the doctors who are doing presentations. Dr. Johnson always provides a free booth, What's Up Doc, to answer any questions people might have. Our executive director, Mark Mann, helps us out. Uh, and it takes a lot of the headache of, of all the different organizational things that need to be done. Our maintenance department, George Hanselman, uh, helps with the setup. Val Nishi, our director of nursing, is here for the whole five hours, as well as our staff development person, Allison Andrews Nelson. Our housekeeping people, business office, maintenance, uh, the medical records people, everybody, nursing, we all pitch in, we volunteer our time to provide all these free services. <laughs> Chris, once again, now uh, we like to make sure you know people take advantage of these beautiful uh, early signs. And uh, what we're doing is trying to make the community much healthier. Yeah, and congratulations on another fine project. And we hope that people will come out next year in droves. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, George, and thank you, everybody. We are here to serve the community. Aloha. Okay, while the stuff is cooking, waiting for Enos here, I got this fresh salmon. Okay, I cut the fresh salmon into cubes like this. See it like that? Huh? And what I'm going to do with this is uh, I went, I went marinated with Hawaiian salt. So I put in about um, two tablespoons and maybe three tablespoons of salt. And I add in about three to four cups of water. And I just left it like this for like half an hour, okay? So it's all marinated and it's kind of like salty. And I'm gonna like fry them inside a frying pan right there. Okay, actually the good thing about it, if I had a broiler, I oven with a broiler, a small toast oven, I would broil it inside there. But I'm gonna fry this up, yeah? This is a real quick dish, okay? Now, inside, I have two cups of rice. This is really good for hangover. And you know about hangover, all you guys, man. This is like perfect, okay? Two cups of rice. 
okay and I put in some wasabi inside okay just like that okay hey put in the wasabi okay just like that okay then I dump in some furikake right inside there okay so I fry the salmon. I'm gonna fry this salmon. It's a little on the salty side, you know, and um, after I fry the salmon, I'll put the salmon right in the bowl and I'll make some hot tea and I'll pour it on and you know, we're gonna eat like chazoke also, okay? So just wait, everything's almost done. So we'll be right back. Next on our program, we'd like to say congratulations to the Hill High School class of 1961 who recently uh, celebrated their 55th class reunion in style with a two-day event held at the Hilo Metro Inn Church Hall and the fabulous Hawaii Nani Loa Crown Room. Chairperson Pat Koga, along with Milton Nakatsu and Harold Raposa, Wes Takai, and over 20 committee members worked really hard in putting the memorable occasion together. Highlights included great food with a huli pig, prime rib, and all the trimmings, and even a KTA cake. A Wheel of Fortune, where, where Carlin Ono won $100, origami giveaways, and display of photos from the past. The Nani Loa event was held in a crown room and featured a fancy balloon arch, entertainment by the Island Serenaders and Howard Oshiro, and also some fabulous food. In all, nearly 200 persons attended the two-day event that attracted classmates from various parts of the United States and the state of Hawaii. As you can see, this class had a lot of fun at their 61st class reunion. And they want to thank Hilo Men Shoin and the Naniwa Hotel, all of the helpers and donors for making their Hilo High School 61st class reunion a huge success. They had birthday celebrations, and one of them was George Yoshida, who was 73 years young. I was amazed. They didn't have a fire engine to stand by when they lit the candles. It, it took a while to light 73 candles and one for good luck. But blowing out the candles by one classmate was another task. Wow. It could be done by just one Hill High School class of 61 student 